Yeah, yeah look how tall I am compared to you. Okay, what do you usually say? Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I post everything here for religion. Uh, today we have Google. Okay. We'll get out of... Uh, what would I say again? Yo, what's up guys? Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new channel where I post... Brand new channel? What brand new channel? Brand new... I don't even know. I Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I talk every... Ugh. See, now I, now I can't get it. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new... Vlog. What do you say? <laughs> Forget about it, forget about it. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I post everything Harry Potter related. Today we are talking about the butterbeer, our favorite drink. Um, definitely my favorite drink. So I know I've made this video in the past, but today we came up with a little more fancier version. Uh, we're adding this uh, little whipped cream there and you know we have a better presentation. So we're just gonna go ahead and just do another butterbeer uh, video. And I just want to go ahead and share with you guys all the butterbeer. <laughs> our butterbeer collection. Butterbeer cup collection. Yes, yeah, so our butterbeer collection cups. Um, one of them is from Universal, don't know which one. One of them is from Islands of Adventure, obviously in Hogsmeade. Uh, and the other one is in Diagon Alley, obviously in Universal. Um, don't know which one is which. I do know this one in particular is the one in London, the Warner Brothers Studio lot. Uh, where they actually filmed the movies and I know it because I have a uh, I have a picture of it and I'm just like holding it with a, and it's super small it's actually the smallest one yeah. there um, we're actually a uh, fun fact about with the Warner Brothers studio lies that when you actually go over there they don't actually have a frozen butterbeer they just have the regular butterbeer for you uh, they don't have hot butterbeer either uh, they do have a washing station which is really cool um, that you could go outside and basically wash your mug and you could take it home. I didn't know about that so I went to the bathroom and I washed it. Uh, but yeah, they do have a washing station which they should do for Universal and Islands of Adventure. Specifically because you know obviously you just get these cups and you take them home and you don't want to have them all sticky and dirty in your book bag. Where most of us buy clothes just like I do. So I definitely don't want to get my brand new t-shirt from Hogwarts and Diagon Alley. Sticky with this gunk. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and get right to it. This is a very long introduction. So definitely go ahead and stick around if you guys want to check out how to do a proper butterbeer. Actually, I'm a very good maker of the frozen butterbeer because it is my favorite. I make amazing frozen smoothies, frozen shakes, lemonade, or limeade, milkshakes. milkshakes. I make all the best. Anything that relates to frozen drinks. In a blender. In a blender, that's me. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. If you guys wanna stick around to watch this video, definitely go ahead and do so. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, step one. Wait, look at a, look at each other in confusion. So these are all the ingredients that you will need. You're gonna need your cream soda. Um, I like A and W. It's really good. Yes, but you can get like any brand. I know the like Walmart has their own brands and whatnot. You do need whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Um, what is this called? Butterscotch syrup. We couldn't find butterscotch syrup, so we got the caramel sundae syrup and a whipped cream. But it's for your preference. Yes, this is fat free, which I don't even know who the heck would even buy this. But you know, we have it here. Um, and yeah. you want to tell them about basically the process? So we we, we already pre prep to this um we put frozen butter we put excuse me we oh, put uh, cream soda in any container you can put cream soda in any container and then just put it in your freezer leave it overnight we left it maybe for like maybe a good week or so yeah we forgot this we right definitely now. forgot so i left it out for a little bit so i can get slushy and uh, we actually have two then we'll need your measuring cup for your whipping cream and just a bowl and your whisk. So let's start with... You're gonna do, the, you're gonna do the, the top layer, right? So step one, you wanna do your top layer and we're gonna prepare it with our whipping cream and our butterscotch. The thing that takes the longest is the whipping cream on the top, the little thick, thick white layer that tastes so amazing in a butterbeer and makes, you know, the funny uh, mustache, uh, butterbeer mustaches. That's definitely, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. And that's involves, that involves the heavy whipping cream, uh, the butterscotch syrup, or in our version, the caramel syrup. And 
that's basically it. We just whip the the thing a couple times so it gets really, I guess, not thick, like to the point that like it can't move, but like just perfect. Like you guys know, just enough when it's like it can stay on the top layer, mm -hmm. I guess. So we're gonna put one half cup. One half cup or one cup? One I like just shoving like so I like I, I don't really do the whole measuring thing She likes the whole measuring thing. I don't really care too much about it if I want a lot of the the really thick um, cream on top You just go crazy with it and you basically yeah. eyeball it with the um, Cream we're gonna start with half a cup and then the syrup is really your preference So you can just go crazy if you're so when we went to go get our ingredients, there was no syrup whatsoever. There was no caramel, there was no butterscotch. And we had asked one of the workers there, and he's like, oh no, no, we don't have right now. And then we walk out the aisle, we get other stuff, and then the person, the worker, found us. And he's like, miss, miss, from like three aisles away. And I'm like, what the heck? And I look back, and then he hooked it up. He had found one, thank God. So, we got lucky. so now it becomes a matter of uh, manual labor. I like doing this because it's, I don't know, faster. But obviously if you guys have the machine, that's the key. And then yeah, I just like doing this part because it looks cool. But you just basically eyeball it. Um, you don't have to go too much into it. Yeah, so it. now you want to put that aside and then we're going to actually start with the drink. And hopefully this works out as planned and hopefully it's not frozen. We have the Ninja, which is my favorite blender. Cuts literally all the ice you can think of. This is a very thick ball of ice. Hold the ice? No, I'm just saying. This, this is not going to go down the way you do it. Hold oh, the ice. Yeah, hold the ice so we can do this. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Wait, so they can see it. Alright, so it looks like urine. I think we're going to have to break the ice because. There's no way. Can I get a spoon? Oh, you think like like this? Yeah, you can. Okay, ready? Put it here. Oh. <clears throat> Dude, I told you it wasn't gonna fit. It's good. No, it's gonna. Fit. I could. It's no, because you're gonna. You, you're smashing it onto this. It's not on concrete as we planned, or we actually didn't plan. The ice doesn't fit in here, but not to fear because we're gonna get a knife. We're gonna slice it up. We're gonna put it in, and it's gonna be perfectly fine. But. Check this out real quick. It smells amazing. All right. So, you if you do it like us, a knife is gonna be necessary. You wanna slice it? Um, I was thinking of putting it like this and slicing it here. Emily, dude, you're wasting time. What the heck are you doing? Boom, got one. So, if you're making this for a big group, please don't use your hands. This is only for us, so. Oh my God. It is freezing. <laughs> Putting that hard work. This is definitely not the most ideal situation. Not very conventional. But. All right, so yeah, if you guys are doing it by your, um, or for yourself, go crazy and use your hands. It doesn't matter. But obviously, if you're doing it for a, a lot of people, you're gonna need a lot more ice, a lot more cream soda, a lot more everything. And yes, don't use your hands. So step three, you're gonna wanna get your cold or room temperature soda, as long as it's not frozen. All right, and let the blending begin. And this is where you eyeball it like I do. I never use measuring cups, I never use none of that crap. You basically eyeball it. If you see it's too watery um, and you don't like it too watery, Go ahead and add more ice. If it's too thick, add a little bit more cream soda and you just eyeball it around there. Pop that baby in there. Oh man. That's perfect. Boom. Now you just eyeball it, you see more or less. We're gonna use a tiny little one. Yeah, I want a little bit. All right. It's cute. Brings right. great memories. Move it around. Whoop. Use that a little bit. You only put a little bit, so that way, on the top, you know, you use the creamer. So you have more room bit. for your topping. And then you use, do you want like a little bit more? Or? Make I think you actually need to put a little bit more of this. About this? Unless you want it like really, really uh, syrupy. You like it syrupy? Yeah, that's fine. Hit it. Ooh, look at that. It looks amazing. Boom. 
this right here is your butter beer or frozen butter beer. You can see it and it looks exactly like a regular butter beer that you would see in the parks. I'm gonna use this one because it looks like um, Dumbledore's cup. It comes out different every time, but the taste is it very is, consistent. Is it? Yeah, the taste is the same, but obviously the ice stays on the top, so the first few are more icy than the other last few. And this, go. my fellow friends, are four butter beers. If you want to go crazy, you wanna you can put um, this whipped cream fat free. I have no idea why the heck they bought this. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, go ahead and like it down below. If you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because I post everything Harry Potter related as well as theme parks and stuff like that. And uh, basically that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one.